Welcome to the Miami Herald Business Show. I'm Nyla Boodoo. It's always important to know who you're trusting to help make your financial decisions. And during these economic times, it's even more crucial, especially since there are tens of thousands of registered financial planners throughout the country. My guest today is Benjamin Tobias, who's the CEO of Tobias Financial Advisors and Plantation. Ben has more than three decades of experience in the industry. Thanks for joining us today, Ben. Thanks for having me here. So what kind of advice are you giving your clients right now? Has it changed because of the recession? It's pretty much the same as it always has been. Whether we're talking about investing or long-term planning, it's long-term. The recession is short-term. So the advice stays pretty much the same. Are you finding you're calming a lot of anxieties? What kind of things do you tell people? It's interesting. Going back a few months, the anxiety level was over the roof, over the top. My time was taken calming and having people stick to their plans, saying things will return. Right now, people are much happier, much more feeling at ease, and, and it, it, it's, it's in a much better situation right now. If you don't have a financial planner, what kind of advice do you give people who are, what kind of questions do they ask if they're looking for a planner? Okay, if you're looking for a financial planner, the first and foremost thing you want is somebody that's going to take your interests at heart, first and foremost, before their own. This is called a fiduciary responsibility. You want to make sure and you want to have it in writing that the financial planner that you go see is a fiduciary and accepts full fiduciary responsibility. And what does that mean? Are there people out there who don't have their clients' best interests at heart? Because I would think a lot of people would think they're going to a planner, that's what their job is. Well, it's, it's an interesting industry that we have because there are a lot of planners or brokers or insurance people that by law are technically under a completely different standard which is called suitability. So if an investment is suitable for you, it's okay for them to give it or sell it to you. But it might not be in your best interest. So it's a higher level of, of a standard for the fiduciary and if something goes wrong, you should, not always, but you should have an easier time seeking retribution. So how do you tell a good financial planner from a bad financial planner? That's a million dollar question. How do you tell a good doctor from a bad doctor? You have to educate yourself. You can't walk into an office and, and know nothing because anybody could tell you anything and at that point you're, you're working with somebody just based on personality. So you want to do the full education. You want to find out what the planner's credentials are. You want, you want to find out how long or what the specialties are. You, and when you're working with a planner, you want to make sure you're reading and looking at everything that is given to you. So for example, you hear every, every now and then stories about individuals who might be working with a planner and they go three years without looking at a statement and then they look at a statement and find out how much money they've gained or lost or something along those lines. That's no good. Always open up your mail, always look at it, and always ask questions when you have them. And always try to get everything in writing. Absolutely. That's, that's one of the main mottos. Sometimes you might be working with people that say they can't give you something in writing until they speak to a compliance department. That's fine. But if you can't get something that a planner told you in writing, my suggestion is get up, walk around, and run away. Because there's only one reason in the long run why something will not be committed to writing and that is because somebody wants to be able to deny they ever said wow. it. Wow. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for that advice. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That was Benjamin Tobias for Tobias Financial Advisors. You can always do background checks on a financial planner online. Check the websites of the Securities and Exchange Commission or the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority to make sure an investment advisor is registered. You can also see if they've ever been suspended or fined. Thanks for watching. For the Miami Herald Business Show, I'm Nyla Boodoo.